Hello, Paul Hamilton here from UTB. We're going to show you how to attach your USDZ files to QR codes because we want them easy access for everyone to view. So you can see here, I've got a little AR diorama that um, I've built. I want to share it. I want people to be able to scan a QR code. It opens up in Quick Look and it's automatic on Apple devices only. So I go up to my three dots and hit export. Now, if that export doesn't come up, you don't have that option. Go to Settings, Find Reality Composer down the left-hand side of your app menu, and just make sure, let me click on it here, tap on it here, ensure that you've got Enable USDZ Export. That is something that you need to turn on before you do this. Okay, so let's go back to Reality Composer. I've hit my three dots, I've exported it. It'll give you two options, a reality file or a USDZ file. We want to select the USDZ, not the reality file. And we want to select export. That will allow us to save it to our files, the files app. Uh, I'll rename it first. I might put it something like QR code or something that I can recognize it quickly. And then what we have to do once we've got it in files is we need to upload it somewhere online. So it needs to be either Teams, um, possibly a Padlet or uh, Shobi or even your website. Uh, let me look for Padlet. If I upload it to Padlet, I'll show you the process. So what we need to do is we need to store it online so that we can grab the URL to where it's actually where its home is, where the original file is actually stored. So I'm just going to do a quick new post here in Padlet. I'll go to my three dots and just upload a document or file. Now, if you're in Teams, you can do this in a channel. If you're in Shobi, you can do it. It just needs to be a public link that people can actually access. There's my file there, the USDZ uh, QR code one. And so what I've actually done here is just uploaded it somewhere on the internet. In this case, it's Padlet. And then I'm going to grab the URL where it's stored and just link that to the QR code. So if I actually just click on this here, you'll see that it'll go to the URL. So right up the top here, if I open up Safari, so I can see the full URL, here it is here. So this is where the USDZ file is stored because I've uploaded it there. If you go along, you should see that it finishes with a .usdz um, kind of finish on the file name. So make sure that's there. I'm going to select that. So once I've uploaded it, I select its home, the URL. And my favorite is QR Code Monkey. I'm just going to, instead of their default, I'm going to delete that and put mine in. So I'm just going to paste where my file is stored. Don't forget, it should finish with that .usdz. And then once I've actually finished that, I'm just going to say down the bottom here, create my QR code. And it creates a QR code ready for me to put outside in classrooms, um, in art galleries and museums. Um, don't forget, this is the only the Apple ecosystem that this will work with. It won't work on Android, uh, but it will. All it needs is a camera. All it needs is a camera. It will open up the USDZ file in Quick Look. There's my US, uh, sorry, my QR code there. And um, as soon as people scan that, it will open up on an Apple device naturally and beautifully so that I can see my beautiful diorama. So that's how you actually attach a USDZ file to a QR code. I hope that was helpful. Paul Hamilton here for UTB.